Welcome back to No Man's Land. And we've, uh, last episode we just completed the harvest of the sorghum fields and that uh, has now been all deposited in the grain mill. Um, which I don't think is full. Uh, let's just have a check. Uh, wheat is only running out, sorghum uh, about half fills, full. So, uh, those two fields, yeah, didn't fill it up. I thought they would go closer than that. Uh, while we're here, we'll just have a quick check. Uh, the methane production could do with more silage. Uh, I think the animals are okay. Cows seem to be all right. Milk's getting full. Everything else is okay. So uh silage so we've got the tractor set up here with this ready to go and speaking of silage we will need to make some more i think because uh the slow could well be the last of it um we have plenty of meadow grass all this area over here uh, to do again so uh, I think we'll have to uh, be doing that fairly soon uh, right that got it all there is a spare one yes there we go lurking behind there we'll uh, leave that there for the time being cut around the back here and drop this off the methane production. I don't think we need to dump it right into that. Uh, I think we only just need to bring it to there. Well, that won't take it off the truck though, off the trailer. So we need to go to our right side. No. Uh, side right. Have I done that correctly? Obviously not. There we go. Yep, and that took it all. And that's pretty much the last of the silage. So, yeah, it did top it up pretty well though. And just check how the gold production is going. Ooh, the water's gone down uh, very quick. And so are the stones. So, I think we better get those two things topped up because we're going to be resting uh, at the end of this day or in this afternoon so uh, to keep it producing overnight we will need to uh, get everything stocked up and we've got a bit of selling to do I think in the next day uh, there's probably some wool over at the sheep, I don't see any, there probably isn't actually, because I probably did it before. Yeah, so the other tractor is here on the trailer. So get rid of that trailer. And uh, get the sun of water that's what I'm trying to do I don't know why I swapped tractors but I did it seemed like a good idea at the time and we'll get the uh, oops gone too far we'll get the uh, truck over there at the store to pick up some more stones so get that connected and that maps must be out of the trigger am I did that connect I wasn't watching. No, it didn't. Now it did. Oh, there is some water in there. Oh, that's topping up. Now let's just get over to the uh, brand new truck. And we'll get over and uh, get some more stones. Just notice I've just done a bit to the shard here. And we've got three pallets of gold there now. And I imagine that will at least double overnight, so we should have a good little load to do 
in the morning, but we'll uh, just get this load of stones organised first up. Right now, yeah, get this under the silo if I don't have a major accident. Right now. And we go this way and be quicker. There you go. That filled up with stones, quite expensive, but we should get the, all, all the money back with a big profit uh, when we sell the gold, one would hope. Don't see why not. And look at that money rocketing down. I'd like to see it going the, uh, the other way. But sometimes you've got to spend money to make money, isn't that true? There we go. Big heavy load. And am I going to get around there? Well, I don't think so. Yes, uh, struggling a bit as it did last time, but uh, get a good run up down the hill and we'll be right. Uh, see you over at the gold production. Right, let's get this unloaded and get some more gold being produced. Just double check, that's all we need. Uh, methane should be going pretty well, yep. Yeah. Our water, I haven't done water. Oh, that's right, it's okay. I'm in the process of filling it up, I forgot. Thinking about too many other things. Right, let's leave that there. And let's get that water brought over. And that will be the gold production all set to go overnight. Get the water topped up. There we go. And um, what else are we going to be doing? Uh, I've decided to upgrade the, uh, the cedar. We do have a bigger one available. Uh, the one we, current, we currently have is 8 metres working with. And we have another one that is 12. I think it's 12. So that's the water all filled up. And we'll get this back to the yard and then we'll go and uh, take the cedar over and get that changed over. We've got two fields the two sorghum fields need to be seeded and then we'll have the uh, canola when that gets harvested that will need to be seeded as well so but I want to get those two done in the next day and this canola will probably still be a couple of months away I think but I'll double check on that right, we'll stop in its usual place and we'll go and grab the cedar it can stay there Cedar is over here, I believe. Almost got it. Here we go. No. Very touchy uh, connection, that is. Now, this, of course, has a uh, uh, some fertilizer and seeds in it, which we shall drop off right there. We'll head over to the store and uh, get this upgraded. And we'll get this reversed over the uh, uh, bag of seed there, which upset things a bit. Uh, and we're going to be able to get to it from there. Yes, I can indeed. So that's the one. We'll repair that and repaint it. And what's the sell price? 146, so it's uh, worth quite a bit. Um, I was just wondering if the tractor needed repairs, but I think it's no, it's it'll be alright. And the one I'm going to replace it with is a very good match to this tractor. Uh, cedars, 
and it is this one working width of 12.8 uh, yeah I think that will do the job wait what's that, what's that do no idea numbers color air hose wheel color no, I think we're happy with all those let's uh, buy that 291,000 that's not cheap at all uh, it still leaves a healthy amount in the bank bank account uh, hope this tractor can tow it okay I didn't check the uh, horsepower requirement which I may regret oh, come back running away you can't run away you've got work to do uh, there's a spare bag there I'll see if I can fill that up no oh it's oh no I've just noticed this doesn't do fertilizer and seed oh well it uh, is it is a direct draw but it doesn't do fertilizer so that's not a big issue we've got a good fertilizer spreader so I think uh, it's a trade-off as most things are so uh, yeah it'll work out all right so we'll get this over and uh, filled up the seed and ready to go radio just topping the cedar up uh, it's got a big capacity the cedar uh, it's taken all those pellets of seeds that were there uh, just left a bit in that one right pipe this up here ready for tomorrow and then we'll uh, head over this way we'll do and I think we'll move on uh, late in the afternoon and uh, all the work has been done There we go, I'll see you in the morning. And it's a brand new day. Bank balance is up a little bit. But uh, we need to get back that back over a, a million dollars again. It would be nice, and I'm sure we can do that pretty quickly. Uh, first thing as usual, I'll come back once I've uh, sorted out the wall. Nice big load of wool. That into I'm trying to think which spinnery I did last time. I think it was this first one here. No, it was the next one. Actually, um, this one hasn't had any for a while. So I'll get some in there. Get close stuff. No. took some and I'll put the rest into this one here theoretically there, there you go easy now we've got a few pallets of clothes there the pallet, the price of uh, clothes was dropping but still might be reasonable 16 yes that's still reasonable so I think we will uh, do a big selling of products though, because we're probably um, yeah, pretty full up on everything. So we'll do a quick uh, time lapse and let's uh, see what we get. So we'll do the gold uh, separately of course to see what uh, total we get from it. And then we'll go and pick up the rest. This should be interesting. 161,000. Wow. That is pretty good. And we're nearly up to a million just like that. Excellent. Well, we'll go and get the rest of the products sorted out. What I should be doing though is setting that uh, cedar off on a worker but uh, 
to be honest, I'm not sure what crops I'm going to put in there yet. So we'll go back to a time lapse and get all this done and then we'll uh, sort that out. see what the grand total will be. Although this is without a lot of the flour but um, that can wait till another time. Ah, well and truly over the million. <laughs> it's easy as you like. Just about back up to where we were. A few hundred thousand short. Hundred and twenty one thousand. And it's still going. Don't know why it did it in two totals. It did that last time too. So about 124,000. Oh, so I've still got more on there. I didn't even notice. There we go. I must have moved backwards. And another three grand. All right, let's get this uh, back over to the uh, farm yard. Oh, that was a very productive uh, morning's work. Now, I'm guessing that the animals will need attending to. Starting with the cows. Yeah. More hay, I'd guess. Uh, chickens are getting low. Sheep need some um, hay bales. So, all grass bales we have now, of course. So, sheep appear to be the most urgent ones. And there's so much to do at the moment. Um, I've got to uh, go and prune those grapevines as well. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Well, of course, we have uh, all me bales again. Um, let's just get this into there. I think that'll be on the wrong side. Right side, yes. Go to the left side. There we go. So, the last little bit to complete this field. And then it will need. Um, some fertiliser now, and some fertiliser again when it germinates. There we go, and we'll do that. Hold that up. And we'll get it over to the next field ready to go. Um, might as well top up the seed, I guess. Get in the right spot. There we go. Fifty five percent that'll be enough. We'll get it over to the uh, next field, then get this fertilizer spreader started. Okay, got the worker uh, going on that next field doing the seeding and the worker has arrived here with the truck. So I'll fill that up with stones once again. And just go and have a quick look how things are going. Now we've got the uh, fertilizer spray ready to go. So I'll spin that around and get that started. No, whoop, whoop, whoop. Always wants to go that way.
Let's do set it off in the right direction. There we go, that would be alright. Yeah, that vehicle is running. Yes, turn that off. It does that because if you've got your foot accidentally on the accelerator and you switch vehicles, it starts them up. Uh, a bit annoying. Right, so it's missing a little bit, as it usually does, but that's okay. That's going all right. The worker over there is going well with the fertilising. Get back to the stones, which are all full up. And now we'll get these over to the gold production. And uh, get that topped up. I don't know, this should uh, build this up, I think. Unless it's moved, uh, moved, used some in the meantime. Oh, we've got two more gold pellets there. Fantastic. Let's produce them quite quickly, but I think it goes through all the materials fairly quickly as well. Let's just have a look here. Gold. Yeah, that filled it up. Almost. Water's good. Methane is good for a while, uh, which brings us to silage, <laughs> of course. Um, I think everything else is probably all right. So we'll park our truck up here in the yard. And check on these. Yep, going well. That'll probably miss a few bits and pieces here and there. Uh, still at 32%. That's going alright. Right, now. We're using both tractors, so that brings us to another point. A new tractor. Now, yeah, nothing in the sales, but I'm not really keen to buy one. Uh, some equipment's all right to buy in the sales, but tractors I won't. So the tractor I'm thinking of getting, I'm not trading in the original existing ones, I'm just buying a brand new one. It was uh, now which one was it? The Bent 1000, I think. 517. Uh, tractors we have are pretty much powerful enough. Uh, let's have another look. That's 458. That's 453. So maybe that's not such a big upgrade. Uh, the other option... So that's 329, uh, 517, mm. that John Deere jumps up quite a bit, 670, so that makes the 1000 fairly desirable, 517 was the top, 367, that's pretty good. Oh, hold on, before I rush off, a <laughs> bit just check wide tyres and weights is always a good idea. We should buy that. You can always upgrade and get new ones again. Now, for some reason, this fertiliser spreader on a worker always stops right there. And then if you start it again, it takes off. I guess it is going to run into the pets. Anyway. We'll come and deal with that when it uh, when it does that. That one. Yes, it's missed a few bits. So uh, I'll have to get in and do that. I'll do the tidy those bits up off camera and then get started on the other side there. In the meantime. Look at that for a tractor. 
That is a beauty. Wow, look at this. Very nice. So this tractor can take over all the heaviest work. And now we can double up on a lot of stuff too when we're doing fertiliser spreading, whatever it is we can just get uh, the two smaller tractors doing that, those sort of jobs. And this one can get on with the big jobs. At the moment, probably got nothing to do. But... There we go. Didn't stay over a million dollars for very long, but uh, yeah. we did need to get, have another track. Now, I've got to sort all this out. So I'll uh, come back when I've sorted these two uh, jobs out here. Right, I've got the worker finishing off this field, and in the meantime, uh, this will be a massive overkill, but uh, the other tractors are otherwise engaged, so I'll put this one on the mowers. Seems a bit silly, but... I want to uh, get the uh, this field mowing. Let's just hope it's ready, though. Uh, ready to harvest, yep, yeah, that's alright. I'm going to better check. Um, see where the models are. There's the front one. Stuck the wind rower out of the way. room here. Right here, we'll connect it up. Ready to go. Uh, swath mode. Uh, piece of the mine done and uh, we can get the uh, wrapping baler over here and get this sorted out that all turned off and folded up and uh, back over in the bed and I'll uh, see you over here with the baler Okay, we'll just park uh, that there and uh, we'll probably uh, use this tractor 
all of the baling. Don't really need the, uh, the biggest one. Get this uh, lowered and turned on. No. Unfolded. Ah. Then lowered and turned on. There we go. Uh, that's all we need to do. Uh, bale size. Uh, you want that the largest? Oh, that is the largest, 1.5. Okay. Um, automatic drop. And I think that's it. Last load of silage. Well, it's not silage yet, it's still grass, which is why it's not been accepted. <laughs> I'll offer it again, didn't I? Every time. There we go. So it'll accept those when I, um, when they turn into silage, they'll just go straight in there, uh, I'm assuming. Uh, let's go down and see how many uh, pellets of gold we got. like three but there could be more if there's more we'll uh, probably sell them let's just wait I don't think the price of gold fluctuates all that much it's uh, gold gold I haven't even checked the price of it I don't think uh, there it is gold pretty much up and down best is 17 yeah doesn't change Um, not close. That will surely do it. Yes. Uh, no more going to appear. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I'll pick up a few more products. I know uh, we've got quite a bit of flour over there and we'll see you back over at the store.
Okay, I'll end this episode on a high note, hopefully. With a nice little top up the bank account. And it is indeed. Nearly a hundred thousand just from those few uh, items. That's pretty impressive. Not as impressive as my driving though. <laughs> I'll see you back over at the uh, the farmyard. Okay, get this parked here. Turn it off. And I think that'll about wrap it up for this episode. With our brand new tractor. So we did spend a bit of money, but uh, something we really need, I guess. Um, two fields are done. Uh, now we can relax a little bit while we're waiting for them to grow and uh, the canola over there to ripen. So we can be getting on with a few other things in the meantime. Uh, so next episode, I've got to sort out these cows. I put some hay in their feed uh, trigger and wouldn't accept it. So... Um, not quite sure what I'm doing wrong there. It's showing productivity is 100%, but uh, it's not much of anything in there. But uh, won't accept the hay for some reason. But I'll, I'll sort that out. And uh, I think the chickens need some food, and the uh, sheep are okay. So yeah, that's pretty good. But thanks very much for uh, watching this episode. And. Uh, I'll uh, see you on the next one and uh, please subscribe and uh, give me a like helps the channel out and I'll see you next time bye